All right, Ninja Squad, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm gonna take you through what I'm eating, what my workouts are looking like, everything that I'm doing in order to get shredded. I'm prepping for my first ever classic physique competition, which is two weeks out from tomorrow. It is on June 11th, so I'm super excited about that. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Yesterday, no, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it, tell me all the reasons that you're running away. I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. No, no, no. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. Yeah. I just want to be with you. Alright, so we're sitting down for meal number one, two eggs, a little bit of salsa. Now the entire day of eating is going to be around 1800 calories. I like to shoot just under 1800 calories, although today is supposed to be a refeed day, so I might have a little bit more. So good. Now I normally start my mornings with my coffee and creatine, which I already had this morning. I did not film it though. But if you've seen any of my previous like eating day videos, then you know that's how I like to start my mornings. It's a super convenient way for me to get the creatine in for the day. And like I said, I'm about two weeks out from my show as of tomorrow. Today's Friday, May 27th, and my show is on June 11th, so two weeks out from tomorrow, which is gonna be a Saturday. Today's workout is gonna be an arms and shoulders focused workout. Normally, I'm running a push-pull leg split, but for this week, I'm switching up a little bit so I can work out with some of my friends. We're gonna do an arms workout, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Seriously, this is so good and so simple. If you haven't tried this, try it. All right, I'm gonna finish this and then get ready for the gym. Let's do it. I just wanna be with you. Yeah, I just wanna be with you. I just wanna dance all night. Forget my problems. All right, I gotta figure out what to wear. I think this guy will do. Is it just me, or do other people have a really hard time figuring out what they wanna wear to the gym? I'm also going to be taking you guys through a little bit of my posing after the workout. So I'll show you what I looked like this morning when I was pretty much completely flat. The only thing I had in me was coffee. I'm going to show you what I look like throughout the workout. And I'm going to show you what I look like post-workout with a pump, with some food, doing some posing. Just so you can see kind of the entire progression. Because let's be honest, we don't all look the best first thing in the morning or anything like that. Probably going to look your best after you've had some carbs, after you've had some sodium and after a pump. All right, speaking of which, it is about the afternoon. We are gonna eat meal number two, some lunch. Let's do it. All right, some tuna mac and cheese today. If you can't tell, I really like things spicy. All right, we're eating outside today in the rain. Look at that, look how sad this is. All right, so I'll be honest, we're about like 10, 11 weeks into the cut so far and it is starting really to take a toll on me, like physically. For those of you that have cut down before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like you just feel so drained, like so depleted all the time. I just feel like I don't really have that much energy and start to feel a little more irritable. It's just like a whole ball of like stress, especially for me because this is my first competition. I don't really know what to expect like behind the scenes, like backstage, stuff like that. I did actually order my tanning kit yesterday, so that's coming in soon, I'm really excited. I'm definitely gonna film when I put the tan on. I've never had to tan for anything before in my life. I decided to go with like a self tan, so that way I can just do it at home at my convenience, because one, it's a lot cheaper, and two, I don't necessarily wanna have to fit my schedule into like a bunch of different things, because I'm already working the night before the show. But speaking of which, if you are also trying to get shredded and you want some help, make sure to message me over Instagram and we can set up a coaching schedule. I do offer online fitness coaching, so if you want more information about that, send me an email down below or just send me a message on Instagram and I'll give you some more info. This stuff is so good, you gotta try it. If you do wanna see a full day of eating, specifically just the food, stuff like that, I did film one, so I'll put the link to it right here. Go check that out if you wanna watch. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna head to the gym soon, so I will see you in a little bit.
Can we take a second and admire this beautiful parallel park that your boy did? The new country, 100.5 in the middle of 10 in a row. And we've... A little pre-workout cardio. Is this a video? Yeah, it's a video. Oh my God. <laughs> the bolt is back. Look at them calves. Yeah, look at my calves. Hot. I feel like I'm getting pumped just from walking. Like, look at this. Crazy. Jesus, man is pulling out the big gun. 60s. Lightweight. Nothing but a peanut. All right, come on, Noah. All right, it's pretty clear I'm definitely the weakest one here right now, so we're just gonna just gonna roll the workout in it. Let's go. Just finished the workout, gonna hit a couple poses, and yeah, to give you a quick physique update. snack this is actually the protein cereal right here by premier protein if you guys want to check out a full review video that i did about this going over the cost the macros the taste the different flavors stuff like that make sure you check it out i'll link it right up here this is actually a really good protein cereal this entire bowl has over 20 grams of protein for like 200 calories so yeah i haven't looked at the footage of my posing but it honestly feels really good definitely tightening up like i said i'm only two weeks out so really getting down to the wire here i really want to be stage ready and you should really be stage ready about one week out from the competition which would be next weekend i'm also weighing in way lighter than i would like to be but i don't think there's weight classes for this anyway i have no idea how many people are going to show up so it's very possible it's going to be me at 130 pounds going against people who have like 50 60 pounds on me i'm really just trying to bank on the fact that i'm going to come in probably being one of the more conditioned athletes on stage i think that combined with a good show performance is gonna be my best bet because honestly i'm gonna be a lot smaller than most of the other guys so i'm gonna finish this so i'll see you in a little bit all right this is what we're having for dinner we've got like one of these lavish pitas i just split it in half so you can like open it up and stuff it and we're filling it with this buffalo chicken is literally just shredded chicken buffalo sauce and an onion so Pretty healthy. Oh, and then I've got some nice blue cheese crumbles just to go on there, make it truly buffalo. Let's get it. Look at that. Boom. All right, it's the day after. Just hit a nice two mile jog, super quick. Again, like less than 15 minutes. Bro, look at that. Look at like the shoulder striations. I haven't even worked out today. Like we are getting down to the wire folks it's saturday may 28th and we are officially two weeks out as of this morning so in terms of cardio i'm basically just doing 15 minute sessions try to do it almost every day of the week and so i alternate between my morning jogs and 
treadmill sessions like I had yesterday. I am taking one day a week off of lifting, so I'm lifting six days a week, and I'll do a full breakdown of exactly what my training style looked like and my weekly regimen, stuff like that, after summer shredding is over, just giving you the, the complete body transformation from peak bulk up until now, so from March till mid-June, showing you guys everything I did, everything I ate, everything I worked to do in order to get ready for this show, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm just having my creatine with my tea today because it is the next day and I actually haven't had any yet. I've actually got protein apple fritter cooking right here. I might do a review video on this because it's really good. And this is like a little microwave protein cookie that I got. This whole thing is like 180 calories, 25 grams of protein, dog. So anyways, I was looking at some of the footage from last year's episodes of Summer Shredding towards the end and I'm comparing it to my physique. Now, honestly, guys, I think that I am not only bigger than I was peak last year's cut, but also more lean. And that just means that I put on more lean body mass, right, muscle mass. At the end of last year, I was probably weighing in at like the mid 130s. I think I was like 135, 136, something like that. I'm weighing in at like 130, 131 right now, which is insane. And I think my physique is definitely looking a lot better. So I've been practicing my posing all the time, which I've shown you guys throughout the course of this video and previous videos, which I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Still a little new to it, so there's plenty of pointers. If you have any suggestions, comments, stuff like that, feel free to let me know down below. But like, I think I am getting better, so actually, let me try this cookie. Look at that bite. Cookie dough, chocolate. Well, like, you know, this is how we're looking. This is my off day. I mean, I showed you guys my physique after my run, but no pump, nothing like that. I mean, I haven't lifted or anything. We are two weeks out, and this is how we are looking. Look at that. I also went shopping today, and we got some cinnamon crunch. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sneak some right now. Look at this bag of carbs. I'm not a cereal guy, but this stuff was my favorite cereal growing up. Just a little bit. So basically the reason I got this now is because this is the source of carbs that I'm going to use to pump up before the show. So basically you want to have a huge influx of carbs, kind of pull the glycogen in your muscle, make you fill out a little bit more on show day. But I don't really eat that much cereal and I need to make sure that my body is used to digesting whatever carb source that I'm gonna be eating. Now I haven't competed before, but I've done a ton of research into this and I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of papers, stuff like that. And one of the most common mistakes that people make when they're pumping up for the show is they start introducing new foods into their system just because they're carbs and they need to get pumped. And like the idea behind that is correct like yeah you do need a lot of carbohydrates in order to like get that fuller look but if you haven't eaten a food in like months of hard dieting then your body isn't really used to digesting it so it's gonna like hold in your GI tract it's gonna like cause inflammation water retention you're gonna spill over you're gonna have a little bit more bloating so this way I can start eating it sooner and I'm gonna be used to it on show day this cookie not too bad actually, pretty good. But anyways guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. So just a nice look into what my eating and training is looking like throughout the week. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen my previous episode of Summer Shredding, make sure you go check it out. I'll link it right up here so you can watch it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.